one. Mm. And good morning. It's Char from Char's Fashionation. Now, I have two things from my friend Janelle, but I will only be opening this one today. Um, it is from Janelle's Glam Boutique. And for Instagram, I will leave her here. And for YouTube, she will be right here with my code Char's Fashion 10 so you can get 20% off your entire purchase at any time. So let's get into this. Now this came yesterday. I was thinking, okay, well, I have a mystery collaboration coming up with them. So I'm just waiting for some things. And then my friend Izzy, which I will link her here and here for Izzy B Creations shop on Etsy. Ooh, what is this? Oh, it's a thank you. Oh, I love this. $5 lash cash. That's so cool. She does this. I love her little thank you cards. Those are so freaking cute. What else? Oh, there's something else in here. Oh, yes. Thank you so much for your order. We appreciate your support and love. If you have any issues with your order, please reach out to me and let's make it right. Hugs and kisses, Janelle Glam Squad. I should say Janelle's. And she is so super cool. Um, I left the cat out of the bag. Oh, that, that's funny. I like that though. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't... Do any cannabis products, although I know a lot of things out there that are CBD or hemp. And so not take this wrong, this is actually a hemp leaf. It is not a weed leaf. It is a little keychain. Um, <laughs> that's funny. I have to put that somewhere. I have a growing keychain. Um, oh, does it like mini Chewbacca? Ooh, another lip glass. Look at that. It's called Hope. Let's hope that, well, anything that comes from her smells good and it works really good. Let's see, what does this smell like? Hmm. Oh, might as well use some. That was not supposed to go in my mouth. Well, it's soft. It's not sticky. I can tell you that much. It's very smooth. Just try not to get it in your mouth. It doesn't, to me, it doesn't smell like it has a scent. Maybe it does, or maybe it's just because I just washed my hands. If you're wondering, my middle nail fell off and went underneath the uh, refrigerator this morning. Not a good thing. Um, so, okay, what else do we got here? Oh, yes, a pair of socks. I love getting socks for, like, bundle order. And also this adorable pair of earrings right here. <laughs> that reminds me of my fox tail that hangs up there with my uh, dress form. I like getting the socks. Who doesn't like a nice fresh pair of socks? And because I buy the Color Street Nails from her. I know I have a lot of these. Sometimes I buy them for me. Sometimes I purchase and build up for a giveaway. So there's these. Those are super cute. Super easy to wear. Super easy to apply. And then I have these cutesy yellow ones. That would go with the dress that I've made. Um, so with these. These are lavender. Um, speaking of, I'm making something with the lavender color later. Because I have a dress over here I'm putting together today. And these sparkly ones will go to. These are, I want to... Scandy? Anyway, something funny. I think it's supposed to be like candy. Where's the name on this one? Is that it? 
fashion Prajuber. Anyway, they have weird names on some of these. Let's see. This is the yellow ones are Belgian Buttercup. That's a cute name for those. I can see that. And I didn't tell you the name on these ones. It's all it all ferns out. It all ferns out. It all turns out to burn out. Oh, that's funny. But you know what? You can mix and match, and I've done this before. You can take these and wear some of these with those. Mix and match your colors. Absolutely. Um, so let's see. Did my FedEx order ever show up? No. It never did. It, it'll probably say delivered when it's done refreshing. It never came to me. So let's see, scheduled delivery pending now. I I can tell you a little story about something in FedEx, okay? Um let me expand that. Oh yeah, they never they never uh it never left New Berlin, Wisconsin to make it to uh Elmer, New Jersey. So that sucks. Or I don't think their distribution center is in Elmer. I think it's somewhere else a little further out than Elmer. It might be Millville, I think, or Vineland, somewhere around there. But y'all, I gotta take care of my nails today. Oh, I have other stuff coming. Now, here's what I'm gonna do this week, like tomorrow, I'm gonna do a well, if not tomorrow, no, Saturday I'm going to do a sewing show or a slideshow. So tomorrow I might actually do a partial sewing show, but it'll be like really late, not my usual time, Friday. Excuse me, Friday, I try to stay up a little later so that I can get sewing done. Now, I do have a sewing project coming up. For um, Jessica Johnson or just Jessica, link her here and here. Um, <laughs> I know that was some sort of ass above so below thing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, I am sewing something specific for her. It's going to probably take me about a month because I have some embroidery to do in the garment. Now, if you guys had seen my Michael's crafting haul with the embroidery hoops, the embroidery needles, and all the beautiful embroidery threads, I'll give you a sneak peek of what I will be embroidering for her on a garment. Uh, it does take about a month or so. Let's say if I was doing it like really, really huge on something, it would take a long ass time. But since this is garment, you guys know I love doing dragons. This, and I will finish up the tail. This is going on the back of a bomber jacket. I love dra doing dragon art. Now, I drew this, and then I did it in watercolor pencil, and... That I can say sometimes I impress myself, <laughs> but this, my friends, going on the back of a bomber jacket, it'll be bigger on the back of the bomber jacket for obvious reasons. Now, I can freelance um, draw that on the back of the bomber jacket. We don't have a printer here. Or I would do the fabric uh, print and like print it out bigger in a bigger scale for the back of a jacket and then embroider the pattern. And that's why I had got all of these beautiful colors. Hold on a minute. I'm keeping them right here so that I have, so that I constantly know where they are. So. I will start in the center, which requires this hoop, 
and then I will work my way out, which requires the bigger hoop. Hoop dancing. Oh, yeah. I forgot. Uh, speaking of native things, don't forget I'll be using this for indigenous beadwork. But there's the uh, needles for doing the art. Oh, yeah. I gotta have these for something else I'm working on. Um, but I gotta get that done before I get her jacket done. Uh, because I'm making something for Janelle. So, all these beautiful colors will make this. All these beautiful colors to make this. Absolutely. And if I feel like I don't have enough right colors for that, I can always go back and get some other colors to go with these colors. So that is another thing I will be looking at today is to make sure I have matched all those properly. But there are so many things to look forward to for the next day or so. <laughs> this month is over as of tomorrow at midnight. Um, so I have until tomorrow at midnight to enter it, so many sundresses. So what I'm going to do today is try to knock out two, if not three sundresses. Um, that's a lot of time on the machine. Yes, I know this. Um, but you know what? It's worth it. It is so worth it. Um, yeah. And, and. Um, the collaboration that I'm doing with my friends is going to be hashtag creators creation mystery. Yes, creators creation mystery is hashtag creators creations mystery. <laughs> because, um, what we have done sent mystery packages to each other. Now, I'm still waiting on Izzy's. It's supposed to be here today. So, um, I might actually do the video for both Janelle and Izzy. Um, probably just over the weekend, because I know Izzy can't get hers out until Monday. Um, She's going to one of my favorite places. It's on my bucket list. Salem, Mass. Girl, someday I would love to go there. Um, but until then, like, these are so cute. I have to, like, take these out of the package. I just want to take these earrings out of the package. Open says me. <laughs> My gosh, those are adorable. I would wear those at a powwow, just because they would they would go with the foxtail. I would. Those are stinking cute. Now, how do you wear these in the first? <laughs> I don't have a double hole in my ear, so I have to figure out how to wear these. But yeah, I will figure that out. But they are super cute. They're super lightweight. Easy to wear. Um, we'll figure that out. <laughs> I think hmm, we'll figure that out. <laughs> Definitely. I'll have to ask Janelle, how do you wear these? <laughs> I think maybe you hang them on an earring. Maybe. So I'll ask Janelle how in the heck do you wear those? Because that helps. Because um, they're so cute. I want to wear those. Um, and I'm not going to sit here and mess with them on the whole video. So stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always, stay blessed. I got to get to that dress. I will see you guys in the next one for Sew and Show and other cool creative things.